Hey, well, Bro World Entertainment, and there's a new rumor doing the round. However, it is a fun rumor, and we shall take a look at it. And the rumor is, of course, after his cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine, is Henry Cavill about to become the full-time Wolverine in the MCU? It's a fun pick. It's a good pick, but there are his issues. But we'll have a look at the story first. So, it says... A new rumour claims that Henry Cavill is in talks to play Wolverine in the MCU moving forward following his cameo as the Calvarine in Deadpool and Wolverine. In his cameo, Deadpool approaches him from behind as, he wor as he's working on his motorcycle. When he turns around, Deadpool exclaims, The Calvarine, the legends are true, and may I say, sir, on behalf of all humanity, this just feels right. We will treat you so much better than those shit fucks down the street. The cavalry responds, you were just leaving. He then deploys his claws in a similar fashion to his fist pumping in Mission Impossible and sends Deadpool back into a TVA portal. Cavill also recently shared a photo from the scene and took a shot at DC editing out his Mission Impossible mustache while doing reshoots for Justice League. He wrote, to be safe, I shaved the moustache off for this one, just the moustache. Okay, they're saying that was a shot of DC editing. I don't quite understand how that's a shot. I understand that it looked terrible, but it was Paramount who wouldn't let him shave the uh, moustache. So, eh. So, anyway, continue saying, Following this cameo and Cavill's Instagram post, Mash McGullen, a cosmic book, news uh, reports that his marvel insiders have informed him that cavill might be up to play the character full time in the mcu he added henry cavill actually might be in talks to play the mcu's wolverine i hear similar to what he wanted for a return as superman he is asking for a lot of money to play wolverine Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige addressed the status of Wolverine in the MCU ahead of the release of Deadpool and Wolverine, telling discussing film, You know, Marvel is celebrating its 85th anniversary later this summer. That's just the first 85 years. And Disney just celebrated 100 years as well. I think these characters will be around for another 100 years, long after us. You don't say, Feige. But he continued, so, for sure, there will be, eventually, another actor as Wolverine, he said. I think it will be in a very different style, in a very different way. I also think if somebody were to attempt to do a Hugh Jackman as Wolverine impression, that would be a pretty big mistake. Feige also stated that Marvel Studios has no immediate plans to replace Hugh Jackman. Who returned as the character for Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, and Feige said this. As comic readers know. There have been various and very very different versions of these characters over the decades. It would be fun to explore different ones someday down the line. Again we don't have immediate plans for any by any means. But in the decades to come I think it's inevitable. No shit Sherlock. If that happens. It would have to be a very different and bold reinterpretation of the character because no one will be as great as Hugh Jackman at doing his version of Wolverine. So, you're hearing there that the first part you have to take away is that he's saying there's no immediate plans in the near future to replace Hugh Jackman, which goes to the joke that was running in uh, Deadpool and Wolverine of Deadpool telling Jackman they're going to have you playing Wolverine till you're 90 which is probably going to be the case they're probably going to do everything in their power to keep him coming back the big issue with this story there's two one is Cavill's age and two is when they actually plan to do the X-Men in the MCU because Feige has already spoken that there is absolutely no plans to introduce the X-Men until after Secret Wars. The Secret Wars, of course, they have scheduled, which is subject to change, because let's face it, it's Marvel, isn't meant to come out until 2027, but he never said 
<laughs> and here's the thing. He never said that it was going to be the X-Men that get introduced after Secret Game. Or Secret War, sorry. Secret Game, what the hell is that? He said he, they were going to start focusing and introducing mutants into the MCU after Secret Wars. So not the X-Men as a whole, just mutants here and there. So if that's the case, you're looking at maybe the X-Men being introduced by what, 2030 at this stage? The issue with Henry Cavill coming in as Wolverine in an X-Men under the MCU banner that could take up from now five, six, seven years, he's 41 years of age. So even after the idea of Secret Wars, by the time they would actually do the next movie, he would be hitting 45 years of age. How much of a run could you actually get out of him in that role that's the issue here hugh jackman is what 56 or something 55 56 um and you see the struggles he goes through to get into the shape of wolverine of logan like he's struggling and <laughs> you know uh, there's even people saying like that his body by the end of deadpool and wolverine was actually cgi that he really couldn't get fully into shape so they CGI'd him, including his arms. Don't know how true that is, but whatever. Cavill is still in great shape and stuff, but again, by the time it could come around for him to actually take on the role of Wolverine, you were looking at it being him closer to 45. That's an issue. So, is he in talks? Don't know. Unless he's in talks to show up in movies from now until Secret Wars uh, as a variant, and then he gets replaced. Don't know. Or maybe the talk is just for Secret Wars. Because we know Secret Wars. They're looking to bring in. A crap ton of variants of. Different heroes. So are they going to try and get Jackman back. As Wolverine. But also bring in Henry Cavill. For that movie. We don't know. As I said. It is a rumour. It is a fun rumour. He looked great in the 32nd. <laughs> scene that he's in. In Deadpool Wolverine, he was one of the best cameos next to, or at least one of the ones that got you the most excited, next to Wesley Snipes. He had the look, he has the attitude and everything else. It's just, by the time they actually get around to bringing in X-Men stuff and Cavill's age, it, it really doesn't look like it would be a, a, a way to go. I think they would look for someone much younger, which is unfortunate as well, but understandable. So, that's the rumour. The cavalry, is it possible? Of course it's possible, but it's doubtful. But it's fun to think about. So, with that, I shall leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.